Hi, and welcome to this section of the tutor where we're going to tackle the problem that, that gives a lot of people difficulty, and that is how to divide decimals, okay? We've already learned how to divide using long division back in the earlier part of the class here, okay? So if you don't know how to do that, definitely you need to go back and learn that now because this is going to be a little bit more challenging. But in the end, if you know how to do that, uh, as far as doing the long division you know, that we talked about in the first parts of the class, then dividing decimals really isn't going to be that hard. So let's go ahead and do a problem, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. What if you have 3.45 divided by 2, and you want to divide this guy, okay? Well, the first thing you do is, just like in the other problems, you go ahead and write your 3.45 under the house, and your 2 on the outside, because that's what you're going to divide in. And every time you have a division problem, you take this decimal point, and you go ahead and you put a decimal right on top of the line. Because in the end, you're going to put numbers here, and the decimal point is going to be fixed. Okay? You're not going to move that. So you just take your decimal point, you just put it above the line. Okay? And the only way you can really describe how to do this is to work a lot of problems. So that's what we're going to do. Okay? Just like before, you say, how many times can 2 go into 3? The answer is 1 time, because 1 times 2 is 2. And 2 times 2 would be 4, and that's too many times. So it can only go 1 time. So we multiply, and 1 times 2 is 2. And we draw our line, okay? Now we do some subtraction like we always do. 3 minus 2 is going to give us 1, okay? And you ask yourself, can 2 go into 1, okay? The answer is no, it really can't. But before we give up, we're going to take this 4 and we're going to drop it down and make it a 14. And this is all exactly the same as what we've done when we divided, uh, when we divided numbers in the beginning of this class. So go back there if you don't quite understand this. We're going to drop this 4 down. Now the next question we ask is, can 2 go into 14? Okay? The answer is yes, it can go 7 times. Why? Because 7 times 2 is 14. Okay? So you multiply and you write that down and you subtract and you're going to get a 0 because 14 minus 14 is 0. Can 2 go into 0? Well, no, of course it can't. But before we give up, we're going to drop down this 5. Okay, we, we're allowed to drop down one number from the next column anytime you can't divide what you have here. Okay? We ask ourselves, can 2 be divided into 5? The answer is yes, it can go 2 times because 2 times 2 gives us 4. Okay? Because 2 times 2 gives us 4. And we subtract, like always, 5 minus 4 gives you 1. Now here's where, here's where the decimal stuff starts to get a little bit tricky. The next thing we do is we try. Will 2 be divided into 1? Well, the answer isn't, uh, is, is no, you can't do that, okay? But in decimals, there's no more digits over here that you can see that you can drop down to help yourself. But in decimals, you're allowed to add a 0. In fact, you're allowed to add as many zeros as you need. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a 0 up there, and we're going to drop that 0 down and make him a 10, okay? And we ask ourselves, can 2 be divided into 10? The answer is yes it can go 5 times. 5 times 2 gives you 10, okay? And 10 minus 10 gives you 0. And since you have nothing else left down here, okay, and you have no more digits up here and nothing more to drag down, you're done. You've filled out as many digits as you can. The answer is going to be 1.725, okay? Now this is quite a bit different than what we used to do when we were dividing regular numbers. Regular numbers, when you would divide down, you could get down to a point here and you couldn't divide anymore. You have what we call a remainder, okay, and you kind of 